Hi, I'm from California Calisthenics.com, and today's tutorial will cover the pistol squat on the bar. Alright, the skills involved for the pistol squat on the bar is composed of two main groups. The first is the strength aspect needed for the move, and the second is the technique or the balance that you need to be thinking about while you're doing the technique. First off, let's talk about the balance portion of this move. Now, in any kind of balancing activity, what you do with your eyes is very important. So when I like doing the pistol squat, I like to look at a solid place on the ground and not have my eyes move. Because subconsciously, if your eyes are moving from side to side or up and down, your body is going to follow those that direction. So keep your eyes locked on one target while you're going down into the move. Now, second of all, you want to be conscious of where your feet and your butt and how that weight is canceling each other out. So when you're doing the pistol squat, your butt wants to drag your weight downwards this way. And so now you want to have your feet counteract that weight. And so make sure you're driving the force forward. The forward and the backwards force will bounce each other out. And that will allow you to come back up when you do it. Now finally, the most important part I believe is your hand placement. Think of your hand as a big stick. Just like a tight, tight, tight rope walker that balances a huge stick when they walk across a tight rope, tight rope your hands are going to want to balance you the same way. All right? Let's talk about the strength aspect of this move. Now the pistol squat involves all the small muscles of your legs and the large ones, including your calves, hamstrings, and quads. Now the first progression of it would be a one-legged wall sit. It looks something like this. Make sure that the leg that's on contact with the ground is at 90 degrees and the other leg is trying to stretch out as straight as you can. The second progression is using bands, rings, or a TRX band to help you assist in doing the move. Now, the bands will allow you to make the beginning and the end of the move easier to do. This is how it looks. Alright, the last progression is, as you've guessed it, the pistol squat on the ground. Now, I find this move easier if you do it without a shoe. This move is good at working you and being able to counteract the balance between your butt going one way and your foot counterbalance you going the opposite way. Right. Be sure to work both the strength and balance components of this move slowly. But if you rush it and go too fast, you can risk damage to the knees. Alright, and there you have it. That's the Pistol Squat tutorial. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And like us for more videos like this. Thank you. The second progression involves using some sort of band to help... God damn it. Oh, hey! Hey there, Juno!